Fake news. Two words we're all sick of. But what if fake news weren't just about getting people outraged and cashing in on clicks? What if fake news could lift people's spirits and give them hope? That's exactly what happens in Jacob the Liar by Jurek Becker. It's World War II, and Jacob lives in a Jewish ghetto in Poland. One day, by chance, he overhears the German occupiers listening to the radio. He can't believe what he hears. The Soviet army is just a few hundred kilometers away. Freedom is coming. Jacob tells his friend what he's heard, but he also makes it sound like the radio was his. Suddenly, everyone in the ghetto is talking about the news, but now Jacob feels compelled to keep telling good news. Unintentionally, he becomes a liar. But because of his fake news, even the suicide rate is dropping. Eventually, Jacob comes to defend his fake news. Isn't it enough for you that we have almost nothing to eat? That in winter, one in five of us freezes to death? That every day, half a street gets taken away in transports? All that still isn't enough? And when I try to make use of the very last possibility that keeps them from just lying down and dying, with words, do you understand? I try to do that with words, because that's all I have. Then you come and tell me it's prohibited. Author Jurek Becka spent his own childhood in a Jewish ghetto in Poland. After World War II, he came to live in East Germany. This book, his first novel, fills the reader with warmth, without giving way to pathos or minimizing the horrors of Nazi crimes. Jacob the Liar is not a hero's tale. It's the story of a man who creates a ton of hope with just a grain of truth. It's also a book that will stay with you long after you finish the last page.